Hello everybody, this is Petey from Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and today in our C-Sharp tutorial we're going to take a look at Main Street. So today we're going to be looking at namespaces. Namespaces are a great way to keep your programs organized by logically placing different parts into different categories and then you can also go ahead and place other parts into subcategories. I like to think of namespaces as basically kind of like a bookshelf. Uh, you could go over and grab a book off the bookshelf and then open it up to a particular chapter and maybe scan through that chapter uh, to a certain paragraph where the information you're actually looking for is contained. And I'm going to show you how we do that in C-sharp and kind of how this metaphor works. Now, when you first create a project, uh, let me go ahead and open up our Solution Explorer here, and I'll pin it up. Uh, when you first create a project, you're going to end up in the namespace according to whatever it is you named uh, your, your project. In this case, I called my namespaces because it's the namespaces tutorial. And uh, voila, I went ahead and it made uh, namespaces, no, well, namespace, namespaces for me. I guess I could have called it something else just to make it a little more clearer, but Understand that by default, when you create your project, the namespace your project is going to be in is whatever you name the project. Now you can actually go ahead and change this anytime you want. So let's just actually do change this. Let's call it namespace tutorial. And I've gone ahead and changed the namespace that my main class is in. I've gone ahead and actually created a few other classes here. And you'll notice that uh, these are still in the namespace namespaces. And that's fine. We're actually going to leave them there for now as I want to demonstrate uh, how you include these other namespaces. So let's say I have this big class here and I've got all these functions or methods inside of this class that's inside of this namespace and I want to be able to access it. And if you notice over here, I have another class in this namespace as well, my second class, my first class. Uh, the way we do this is by using this using statement. So we're going to come up here and do using. And you see here the two different ones that we've already made already. We have namespaces and the namespace tutorial. I'm just going to use namespaces. I'm going to go ahead and hit the colon. And before we actually do anything with it, I'm going to come down here and go ahead and instantiate uh, a new class of one of these. So my first class, which is in namespaces. So I'm going to say my first class. And I'll just use my first class as or MFC for short. And we're going to make a new my first class. And I'm going to go ahead and actually we have a method that writes line out. So we're just going to go ahead and call this test method. So my first class dot test. I'm going to go ahead and delete the console right down there. Now we're just going to go ahead and run this. And we see, sure enough, it pops up and it says my first class. So we've gone ahead and added a namespace and went and accessed a class in that namespace. Now, another great thing about namespaces is that they'll actually help you avoid what's called name collision. And what this refers to is when you have two classes that end up with the same name. And let's say we have two different people working on a project. Let's say Bob and Joe. And Bob's working on, you know, a certain part of the project while Joe's working on the other. And if they're both using the exact same namespace, they might actually end up with functions the same, or sorry, classes the same. So let's go ahead and change this class to, uh, let's just call it test class. And I'm going to go ahead and take the other one. Uh, we'll say this is the, the class uh, Bob is working on. And we'll come over to Joe's. And I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing here, uh, paste that line in. And if we come back, uh, we're going to have to change this to test class. Uh, we'll have to change that to test class. Uh, but if we go ahead and actually try to run this now, uh, we get a problem right here. And of course, whoops, if we hover over the error, get the full thing, we'll see that the namespace namespaces already contains a definition for test class. So the easy way to get around this is have Bob call his namespace something different. So we're just going to say, you know, Bob's namespace. Well, let's just call it Bob for short. We'll save that off. And I'm going to come over to Joe. And I'm going to call his Joe for short. Uh, I think originally I called him John, but we're going to go ahead and call him Joe. 
And then we'll just come back up here to my main and we'll just switch to the using statement. So now I'm going to be calling Bob. And I'm also going to be using Joe. So let's go ahead. We'll save this off. And well, Bob and Joe both have a, a test class. So what do you think is going to happen here when we try to run this? Let's go ahead. We'll try to run. And we'll notice here now we're getting an error, but it's in a different spot. It's right here where we're trying to create this test class. And of course, if we hover over the error again, it just tells us that the test class is ambiguous. Well, it has a reference. Basically, it's telling that there's two different test classes. So which one do we want? And there's a couple ways we can get around this. The first one is to implicitly tell it which one we want to use. So let's say Bob dot. And we notice that we have this little drop down here. This little icon represents a class where if you look over here, it will also tell you it's a class. That's another thing up here is when you have your using statements. Does it do it? You know, we'll do using. And we see these little parentheses up here. Uh, that's obviously a, that's the namespace icon. Now it might be different in your IDE, but for Mono Develop, uh, that's what it looks like, and I believe it looks the exact same in Visual Studio. Uh, but anyway, so we'll go ahead and we'll tell it to use the Bob test class, and let's go ahead. We'll do a run, and we're still getting an error here because we didn't tell it right here, and it helps if I use it right. So we'll go ahead, we'll save that off again and hit run. And there we go, we now have my first class. So let's actually go ahead and do the John line as well. Or sorry, the Joe line. I'm gonna get that name confused the whole time, I bet. So I'm gonna come in here. And I'm just gonna say Joe. And right here. Uh, not the whole line. And of course, we're gonna have to change this. Uh, we can't have a variable the same, so we're just gonna call it uh, my second class. And then I'll come down here and just do uh, my second class dot test. And of course, when we run this, we're going to get both outputs now. Uh, so there we go. We've actually used the namespaces to avoid this name collision. Now, because we're actually using the namespace name down here, we, and we only have the one class in each of these namespaces, we don't even actually have to have the using statements up here. Not if we're actually going to use it down here. And if we go ahead and run this, uh, we'll notice it works just the same. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to still continue on with namespaces, but we're going to look at how to nest namespaces. And also, we're going to take a look at uh, aliasing. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.